more of anatomy uh, 101 for uh, the digestive tract, right? I have the next is the uh, jejunum, which is the second part of the small intestine, okay? And then I have the ileum, okay? Really important. Now, I want to just point out, please make this note. Ding, 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 ding. Know what SIBO is. Small intestines. Look it up, guys. You want to know what that is for the small intestine because someone's going to ask you, does this detect SIBO? So you need to understand that, okay? So next, I have my small intestines. Now, um, my ileum cecum, cecum valve. This is my cecum right here. Of the here we get into the large intestines. But you see what I've tried to do, right? I'm just giving you a pathway from how you're eating into my esophageal, into my stomach, right? And then I'm going into my duodenum, into my small intestine. Now, here's a good, good point I want you to remember. Is there a test with the small intestines, right? It's a closed system. This is why in the small intestine, you have to actually swallow little baby computers, which are nanobots that go through and you have a computer and it goes around into the closed small intestine to see if you have any issues. Okay, just a good point. Something you need to look up. Okay, so now uh, the ileum cecum or the ileum opens a door, really important. Ding, 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 into my cecum which is the beginning stages of my large intestine, okay? Really important, and guys, please, please, if someone asks you where's the appendix, tell them it's where. <laughs> the appendix is here, right? You gotta know that, guys. Now, th this is, now, remember this, most of the digestive issues that people will have in that room, are going to be in the large intestines okay there are several digestive disorders that you need to look up but this is a really good point I want you to know the anatomy of the large intestine because it will come up okay so understand all my food and my nutrients are coming to my small intestines remember this a lot of people call this the uh, descending colon this is not the descending colon remember this is a closed system I have my nutrients and the there's a system called peristalsis which is a sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system that automatically removes waste and it doesn't need you to do it right so waste comes through into my large intestine so the main function of my large intestine is to remove what? Waste that's unneeded in the body. The problem is with most people, they're eating foods with no nutrition. So all the foods they eat, they're coming through. Small intestines cannot get any nutrition. And so most of this waste, and it's, they're constipated in their large intestines, which is what? My third brain. Okay. So, now, when we look at the ascending colon, this is an arch. Remember this. I have my, my ascending transverse arch. Then I have my transverse colon. And then I have what? Because it's coming out now, right? To my descending colon. So remember this, guys. Ascending colon, because it's connected to the small intestine coming up my transverse colon and my descending colon because everything is coming out.